Hi students, here's a quick video on how to draw MFCCs or MEL frequency capstrol coefficients in Pratt. I'll give you a little demo. Here we go. I'm going to share. Let's go to teaching mode in OBS. Let's go over to not there here. So let me get a, a clearer background. So well, that's anyway, here we are. I just going to I'm going to create a new sound. I'm just going to record a mono sound from my Elgato Wave 3 microphone right in front of me. This bad boy, this bad boy right here. Um, and I'm pumping 40,000 hertz. Good. Here we go. Testing one, two, three. Good. I'll just save it as testing into my objects windows and object window in Pratt. I'll just look at it, view and edit, right? And let's listen to it. Testing one, two, three. Okay, there's a bunch of siblings right there. Test, test. Okay, I think one, I'm thinking one is about right here. In one, in one. Okay, there's a little bit more than there. I'm just going to go about right here. One, there's one, one. Okay, I'm going to extract one out as a separate sound object in the objects window with the sound menu, fifth from left menu, sound, extract down here. You can extract, I'll just use the top one, preserve the times. Good, and then I'm going to jump over to my object window with my keyboard shortcut, and I'm going to change that name real quick. I'm going to rename that new object to one so it's clear to me what that is. So now it says one. Go back over to my editor window and find two, which I assume is right here. I bet this is the closer of the, the stop, and I bet it goes to about right there. I think that's probably the the fricative of three. Two, two. Yeah, it sounds like two. I'll come over to sound, extract that out real quick, jump over to my object window, rename that real quick to two, so that it's clear to me what this what these are. Come back over to my editor window and three. I bet this dark stuff right here. Right where I'm circling my cursor is the fricative of three of, th yep, that's, th and I'll get out to about here, call that the three. Three, three. Okay, go to sounds, extract that out as a separate little sound object, jump over back over here, rename, call it three. Cool, let me just double check, I'm gonna play these real quick. One, two, three, cool. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna create an MFCC from each one of those sounds. Here I go. So I have the sound object selected. I go to analyze spectrum about halfway down that menu on the right hand side of my object window. And then I go down to, to a, a MFCC at the bottom, near the bottom, second from last. Click it, accept the defaults, totally fine, okay. And it created an MFC, MFCC object right there. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the other um, two. So here's two, two, good. I'm gonna go to analyze spectrum, to MFCC, okay, good. Select three, sound three, analyze spectrum, to MFCC, okay, terrific. So now I have three new objects. I have three MFCC objects in my objects window. Now I want to draw these. So if I select the first one, I'm gonna select MFCC one, and I'm gonna go to draw on the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the object window right there, it says draw. And you know, I need to go look at the, let me real quick go look at the palette. Where is that palette? Um, how do you open up the drawing window? Well, I guess it'll open up when I ask it to draw. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna select in the objects window, I'm gonna select MFCC1, go to draw, and just accept the defaults, let it rip. So I'm gonna, I have a time um, range on the x-axis and an amplitude on the y-axis. Okay, let's see what it did. Okay, I want to actually start that again. I'm going to erase all this stuff. This is pretty um, not well organized. So I'm going to erase it. I, in the, the Pratt picture window on the right-hand side of my screen right now, I'm going to go up to edit and erase all to so clear out that palette. And then where you want it to draw, you highlight with the pink rectangle. So I'm going to go to the very top and highlight from the top left corner to about four inches down and six inches across. Across. Right there, there's six, four, and then I'm gonna ask for it to draw it again. I'm gonna go over to my objects window, MFCC one, draw, accept the defaults, okay, good. So that is the, the plot of the MFC, MFCC for one, okay? Um, let me now say, I want you to draw from four on vertically, four down to eight and over to six inches as well, like right below it. Let's now draw the MF, MFCC for two. I'll select two in the object window like I just did. So it says MFCC two is in blue now, it's selected. Go to draw, third option there. Accept the defaults, okay. 
Um, good. That looks a lot different, right? That plot there, this line looks a lot different. This is time on the x-axis and amplitude on the y-axis. And let's draw three. So let me come over here to the picture window and highlight with this pink rectangle where I want it to draw the next picture from eight um, inches on the vertical axis down to 12, again over to six on the, the right axis, the horizontal axis. Come back over to my objects window here in Pratt, select MFCC3, third option down the right hand side draw, click it, accept the defaults, okay. Good, so we have three very different structures here for the MFCC. The point is that you can turn sounds into numbers and we're just plotting these numbers right here on this plot so we can see the, the, like the variability of the numbers, but they actually are numbers. Right, let me just show you that right here, a little bonus video. So if I come here and select the first one, the MFCC one, and I click on two table of real right there, two table of real, accept the default, sure. And then it, it created a new object in the objects window called table of real one, right? The one meaning that's what I call that sound file. If I come up to save, save as text file, that top option under save, and then I'll just throw it into my downloads. And then within my downloads, I want to open it up in some basic text editor. So I have one dot table of real, this file right there, right? It's a Pratt file. If you just double click it, it's just going to come back into Pratt, but I actually want to open it up in a text editor. So I'm going to grab this and just pull it down into this. So I can just simply see what that thing has. It has a bunch of numbers. Row one has 12 numbers. I think that's 12. Let's see. Three, six, nine, twelve 12 numbers, and there's some zeros out there as well. But there are 12 numbers in the first row. Row two has, again, numbers. And so um, there are 41 rows here. Again, the point is there's a truckload of numbers in here, and we're describing a sound in numbers, which is a necessary step in automated speech recognition or text-to-speech processing synthesis. Okay, so that is a little video. Um, on how to plot MFCCs in Pratt and also to push them out to the hard drive as um, a table of real file that you just open up into some basic text editor so you can look at the numbers. Okay, see you next time.